Makoto Shinkai's films are usually known for one thing, and one thing only, and that's the amount of attention to detail in his films. Look at Garden of Words, it's a spectacular visual experience, however that is all that it is. Its story isn't the strongest, and very much hinges on its emotional scene. This however changed very recently with the release of the film Kimi no Nawa, also known as Your Name, and with the release of Weathering With You, now is a better time than any to look at this film. Your Name follows two teenagers, Mitsuha who is from the countryside, and Taki who is from Tokyo. Due Due to mysterious circumstances, be it a shrine or a comet, the two begin to swap bodies. Both of them think it's a dream until they realise that it happens more than it should over the space of a week. As such, they lay down some ground rules and keep tabs on what they did in each other's body via a diary on their phone. However, this doesn't work as they both keep having to tell each other off despite the rules they had written. This culminates in Mitsuha getting Taki a date with his crush and Taki doing things that are out of character for Mitsuha like building a park bench or playing sports when she's already trying to keep herself away from prying eyes that she already has on her due to her family. When I first watched this movie I was pulled into it because of the mysterious circumstances in Taki and Mitsuha's life. Like most people I wanted to know why the body swapping was happening but as the film carried on that thought slipped my mind and I became engrossed in the characters lives and how them switching affected each other's life and those around them. Something I didn't quite expect is how perceptive those around the characters could be of the body swapping, mainly those in Mitsuha's life. Partway through the film the story pulls this twist that isn't so obvious the way that Shinkai wrote it and directed the animation makes the twist subtle but fairly obvious on second view. I'm not going to spoil this twist for those that have yet to watch this film. When it comes to this film's answer for the body swapping, it presents more of a why this body swapping is happening, rather than a what or who caused it. It's very much a fate story which is helped by the literal red string of fate that is prevalent in the movie between our two main characters. By the halfway point of the movie, we are properly introduced to our main characters as well as the side characters, and they are mostly fleshed out at this point. We become ingrained in a day-to-day -day life, like Taki's part-time job, or Misa has life of making braided cords while her father is in politics. We learn enough about these characters characters and want them to have a happy ending. I feel like this is where Makoto Shinkai has improved the most when it comes to his storytelling. This film still has like a massive emotional scene, but when it happens I still give a damn about the characters and those around them. When it comes to animation, it's about what we expect from a Makoto Shinkai film, if not slightly more. From the scene of the comet hitting the clouds at the start, to the opening of doors and cooking of foods, hell even just opening a rice cooker looks brilliant. There's a massive amount of care put into the animation. Character movements are nice and even change when the main two change bodies, like Taki being slightly more feminine or meets her crossing her leg despite wearing a skirt. That's another thing that I feel has improved, the character designs. They have more character to them if you will. Whereas before they wouldn't have anything to separate them from other characters in a Shinkai film, here I feel that the silhouette of the two main characters, heck even a side character, is more recognisable to this film and have more to look at. The soundtrack is also amazing and I feel like it's Shinkai's response to claims of him being the next Hayao Miyazaki. Whereas a Miyazaki film has a lot of traditional music in it and some of the songs in this film does as well, the insert songs are enough to separate the two apart. Shinkai chose to get Radwimps to produce the soundtrack for this film and Radwimps are a rock band. The songs have this rock feel to it using guitars and an electronic piano for most of the pieces. Where this soundtrack shines however is in songs like Zen Zen Zens and Dream Lantern as well as Sparkle and Nandemonaya. Seriously check it out on Spotify if you haven't already. The voice acting is nothing to scoff at either, both Japanese and English. It make a lot more sense to watch this in Japanese due to things like pronouns being used by characters that don't make sense in English, but how the English dub played with it is works as well. And both deserve credit for the main actors portraying two different characters each. Ryunosuke Kamiki does really well as Taki but also as Mitsuha in Taki and adds enough femininity to his voice to make it really believable that another person is in his body. As well as Michael, and I'm gonna apologise ahead of time, Sinta Niklas and the same goes for how Mone Kamishiraishi, again apologies, portrays Mitsuha and Taki in Mitsuha adding enough masculinity to the character and same goes for Stephanie Cher as well. All in all, Your Name is Makoto Shinkai's best film that I have seen so far, we will have to wait to see when Weathering With You comes to the UK on how much my opinion of it has held up. I do think that this film doesn't have the most unique plot in the world and that plenty of films have used themes in this film before, but how it's used is the most important factor in it for me.